The ODU Monarchs have had a few days to get over their two-point loss to Middle Tennessee in the finals of the Conference USA Tournament. You know, our hearts were broken, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just now getting over it a little bit to come outside and stuff. I, mean, I don't think I'll ever get over it. That's something I remember for forever, but, I mean, life moves on, though. Wake, wake up the next day. I'm going to cope with it. But there's more basketball for the Monarchs. In two weeks, they'll play in an eight-team tournament in Las Vegas. That was the one that was, was targeted once we uh, realized that the, the NIT wasn't going to become a possibility. I know the league was promoting UAB and ODU at the end of the season to the NIT, so we were hoping there was going to be a shot there. So why was ODU snubbed by the NIT? Conference USA has a league RPI ranking of 22. The Monarchs' old conference, the CAA, had a league RPI of 9. There are 351 Division I teams. Six teams in Conference USA have an RPI of 270 or worse. Middle Tennessee, which has a 24-9 record, was relegated to a 15 seed in the NCAA tournament. As far as I'm concerned, it's embarrassing and it's wrong. They're much better than a 15 seed. Uh, there are other teams that are in the tournament uh, that, that, quite frankly, uh, simply aren't as good as Middle Tennessee that have better seeds. So uh, our, our conference uh, leadership needs to address that uh, and, and, and we need to, uh, you know, we, we need to make some changes. Athletic Director Wood Seelig agrees with Coach Jones that some members of the league have to do more for Conference USA to be taken more seriously. The, the message that I get is that Conference USA basketball, we, we need to improve. We, we, we're not getting the respect that I think we've earned and deserved, so we've got to do a better job next year going out, scheduling quality teams, beating quality teams, and getting our conference RPI uh, to improve. Time will tell if the league's bottom half can start to pick up the slack. In Norfolk, Brian Parsons for the Sports Wrap.